Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are going to be going over Swain's counters and when you should honestly be picking Swain in particular setups. Now, I am a Swain main channel. I do recommend that you get used to playing into tough matchups because you're not always going to get the counter pick, but I want to give you guys the best understanding possible when you are going into the game and where your good matchups are where you can go aggressive runes and items and where some of the tougher matchups are going to be where you should probably be building a little bit more defensive or trying to give yourself a little bit of a crutch to get through laning phase against some of these tough matchups so let's start off first with this highest win rate champion that he's up against as well as the highest play rate and that is his support role so Rakan is his easiest matchup with his highest win rate as you can see the trend here when Swain is playing against engage and melee supports he does insanely well the first range matchup that he has at above a 50% win rate is Bard and he and Bard does not really have the best amount of damage from range so as you can see Taking Swain into melee matchups is going to be great when you are running Swain into the support lane. Now, some of your really, really tough matchups are going to be pretty obvious. Ones that you're definitely going to have to take Resolve and Second Wind and really get used to dodging these poke and punishing their ability cooldowns. And that's going to be Vagar, Bran, Velgaz, Zareth, <laughs> Seraphine. I don't agree with Sona. I think Sona is an insanely easy lane. You just... Um, punish her uh, Q poke. Yumi's going to be tough because you can get outscaled. Lux is one of my personal least favorite lanes to go up against when it's a well-played Lux. And then up just a bunch of ranged champions that have decent damage and then a melee champion that can really force a hard engage and have hard pick can give you a little bit of trouble. So these are the matchups. And when the mages get slower movement speeds like Zyra, you are able to punish them even further on um, Swain. So this is just to give you a good understanding of the matchups, where you should take it, when you shouldn't. If you're someone that has a decent champion pool, wait for the melee matchups for Swain and you really will see a high win rate. So let's go into his bottom matchups, his uh, second highest played role. So Vayne is obviously a perma ban. Um, whenever I'm down in the bot lane, I just think it is an absolutely horrendous matchup with a low cooldown um, mobility spell that is lower than the cooldown of your E, so that is really rough. You should be banning Vayne when you are playing into those matchups. When you are playing against Ezreal, though, this is absolutely amazing. I think that this is the best matchup for Swain ADC, so always look to take Swain into that matchup. But again, Vayne is a absolutely... Just stay away from that. And then obviously your easier matchups are down here with Jinx and Kai'Sa. Things that are immobile and are going to struggle to dodge your E are really going to get punished. Samira can't block your Q with her wind walls. So that is going to be a very good matchup. Now let's go to the swing counter picks on the mid lane with the Zeus GGG. Um, so some of the tougher matchups for the mid lane are going to be... Again, mages that can punish you from a similar range. Velkaz is going to be really rough. I think Anivia isn't the hardest lane. Um, I think I've done a couple of video or two on how to beat um, Anivia. And then things like Ziggs, things like Vagar. You really have to adjust for some of these tougher lanes. Swain does really well into some of the matchups against assassins that don't really have an insane amount of burst early. And maybe one defensive item was really going to stunt their ability to one-shot you. So my personal favorite is playing Swain into things like Twisted Fate, Lissandra, Syndra. Um, Talon isn't too bad because he always wants to queue into you. And your E always comes into you. So you are able to punish him in that spot. So... If you guys have any questions about any matchups in particular that you need help with, let me know. I will give you a detailed comment, a uh, detailed description on how to um, deal with it in the comments, as well as um, I'm looking for particular matchup videos um, for really commonly requested things. Right now, I know one of the really common matchups that a lot of people um, want more help with is uh, Silas. They've been struggling a lot with Silas. Silas can be a tough matchup. Um, as well as things like Lux and Zareth is always the classic matchup of, oh god, I just get poked out in lane, I can't do anything on Swain. So again, you whenever you are looking to play Swain, the more enemy melee champions on the team, it, it's just going to be the better. So um, a absolute dream scenario for Swain um, in any role is a heavy CC, high damage allied team comp and an enemy with a lot of melee range champions 
that are lower damage. Things like a Leona coming out of the support lane, a Zac coming out of the jungle, and maybe a Malphite coming out of top lane. This is just going to be where Swain is really going to succeed. So if you have a little bit of a lower win rate, you're struggling with the win rate, you maybe have two or three champions in your champion pool, look to play Swain into these kind of matchups. Have it be a really strong pocket pick for you, and he can really thrive in those matchups. He's going to struggle into heavy poke enemy teams, say if they have something like a Vel'Koz coming out of support, a Xerath coming out of the mid lane, a um, Ezreal or AP Kai'Sa coming out of the ADC, a Jace coming out of the top lane, and maybe like a Kindred coming out of the jungle. All those things are just going to absolutely shred you from range, and this would be a very unfun game to play Swain with. So that's going to wrap up my video, guys, just giving you a quick and dirty breakdown on when you should be picking Swain and when you should not. And as always, guys, take it easy.